Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the Starship and Norma Prize for an episode of Homeworld Cataclysm Hardcore Mod Testing Series. That is a mouthful. I might have to figure out a different way to change that name. <laughs> but basically, um, this is a series where we're going to be testing out all the ships I'm modifying as I slowly develop the Cataclysm Hardcore mod. So today, um, we uh, we're looking at the Somtal Destroyer right now, which we've seen in the uh, last episode. These are the stat differences that I've made um, compared to the original uh, Destroyer. But we are going to be testing against... Online the Tidan Destroyer, which I have adjusted as well. So, first off, let's take a look at the stats. So as you can see, it has 255,000 health. In my original Homeworld Hardcore mod, it had 250,000 health. Uh, so I gave it a little bit more armor um, as, a, as a way of like having a little bit of improvements over the 10 year differences between Homeworld and Homeworld Cataclysm. But I definitely, um, improved its firepower so each one of these turrets it has on top uh, does 100 damage i believe they shoot at 4.5 um, which i believe is the same speed as the um as the uh titan or not the titan as the kushan destroyer but as you can see the kushan destroyer has two turrets that do 190 damage each where the titan has four turrets that do 100 damage each so that's more projectile damage that it does it's ions, it says it does 32. Um, this is kind of a, a misconception of how the um, the ion cannons work. Because I've adjusted the Titan to where they have like their own like ion cannon um, stats. Like what I mean is um, they, they have a longer, they have a different um, fire rate and a different cooldown than the Kushan. I've done this for every single faction to kind of make them a little bit different. So the Titan will launch their ions for 2.8 seconds compared to the Kushan's 2.4, so they last a little bit longer. But the Titan have a recharge rate of 8 seconds, where the Kushan have a recharge rate of 6 seconds. This means that the Titan will be using its ions for 2.8 seconds, but keeping it on cooldown for, I think, 4.8 seconds? Don't be, I think it's 5.8 seconds. Yeah. 5.8 seconds where the Kushan um, will use theirs for 2.4 but have a cooldown of 4.2. I believe that's the calculation. Hang on. Let me let me double check that. Make sure that my simple map is actually working the way it's supposed to. Yeah. It's 5.2 second cooldown for the Titan. And it is do do do. 3.6 for the Kushan, so I got that wrong. So even though the Kushan ions do a little bit less damage, they'll be able to shoot them more frequently. And I believe I've calculated these DPSs out because I've explained it in the last episode. Um, the Titan overall the ion DPS, I believe, is 170. Yeah, I think it's 170, where Kushan is like 155. So the Titan do um, do more overall damage with their with their ions, and I said that because I would believe over that 10 year period that the advancements in ion technology um, would be focused on the Titan, where advancements in like armor and defensive technology would be what the Kushan would focus on. Because I've always believed the Kushan to be a very defensive um, faction. Also, consider the fact that their ships are more um, blocky, so there's more areas for it to absorb damage compared to the Titan. That's just something I've always, like, that's just my view on the differences between these two factions. Anyways, let's do a head-on-head, -head, um, test between these two guys. Now, relatively, these should be just about balanced. Even though this one does more damage, it has less health than the, the, um, Kushan, so overall these two should be completely balanced, but... Let's uh let's engage. Be advised that is a friendly receiving. Be advised that is a friendly. Here we go. Online. So there go the beams. 
And as you can see, they last longer than the Kushan, but the Kushan uses its beams more frequently because it has a lower cooldown. And I've done this for the Tyrannic Raiders, the Beast, Sumtaw. Every single faction has a different way they use their ions. I ran 95% health on the um, Kushan and 95% health on the Titan. Nice. Let's let time pass by a little bit until they get down to about 80%. You can tell how much damage those beams do. <laughs> okay, so Titan's at 79%, Kushan is at 79-80%. So yeah, they are really, really close together. I don't want them to be 100% perfectly balanced because there are going to be errors and, and things that happen in the game, like if your ship gets distracted and has to move away. Um, things like that always happen in Homeworld, so it doesn't have to be 100% balanced, but do want them to be within like 5%. So they're just about as balanced as they can be. And right now they're still 75% each, so they're doing good. Let's let it go a little bit faster, or a little bit further, until they get down to about 60% health. There we go. And the Kushan is starting to get ahead of the Titan. One thing I've noticed as the beams slow down, the Titan get a huge speed debuff to their ions. Because of the fact that it already takes a long time for them to recharge, that just keeps going up, I think, like a percentage wise. So eventually it takes them like 20 seconds or something to use their ions. So when the Titan get severely damaged, um, they lose a large portion of their DPS. With the Kushan, lose some DPS, but not as much because of how fast their uh, um, ions, their, how fast their ion cooldown is compared to the the Titan. All right, so let's let this go down to forty percent. They're both starting to take a long time to shoot their beams. Alright, and the Kushan Destroyer is starting to pull out a little bit. Again, that's just because of the, the frequency of how fast it can shoot its ions compared to the Titan. Let's see how long it actually takes the Titan to shoot. So they shot at 48 seconds. Still haven't shot. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 seconds is their cooldown now compared to 8 seconds. What's the Kushan right now? Let's wait for the Kushan to shoot. That was at 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10 seconds. That's still a long time. It's still more frequent than the Titan. Roger, Command. <laughs> Let's see what it is as they slowly um, get down to like 20%. It's taking so long for them to do damage to each other. 22, 21, and 20. Okay, the Kushan's at 24. Tidan is at 20. Oh, right, their attack speed is so low, they're barely even attacking each other now. Let's see, they just launched at 58. Yeah, let's wait for another one. 16s, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 second cooldown. <laughs> that is a long cooldown for ions. I wonder what yours is. Let's see, 43, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 14 seconds. So it still has a 6 second advantage over the tight end. That's amazing. Weapon cooldown is like really low right now. Alright, let's finish this battle up. Ten percent left. It's amazing. <laughs> This is one of the interesting features of a Cataclysm and I never really noticed until I started modding. The fact that your ship's um, attack speed decreases dramatically as the more damage you take. Like, we're at 5% on the tight end. Let's see how long it takes for them to use their ions now. Apparently it's a really long time. Are you gonna shoot? Oh my god, this attack speed is so slow right now. It still hasn't shoot. There it goes. At 45. 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32 seconds. It took 32 seconds for it to shoot his beams. Wow. When they have no health, they have no attack speed. Well, let's go ahead and finish it off. Commandeered ship destroyed. Commandeered ship destroyed. So the Kushan Destroyer won that with about 7% health. Not bad. And part of that is just because when the uh, Titan gets so damaged at that point, it takes so long for their beams to load that they lose basically most of their DPS. So that's just that's just something that's going to be part of the Titan in this um, in this one. And to me, that's just because they focused on being so aggressive and upgrading their weapons so much that that's kind of a drawback of them getting their weapons up to the level where they currently are. At least in my eyes. Anyways, um, let's get the rest of the uh, Titan Destroyers. Roger, Command. Move them over Ready here. Ready to go. And we'll get them all to fight the... We'll get them all to fight the other Destroyers. And see if they can win. See how they work in a group. Theoretically, the Kushan Destroyer should win this because they have less weapons. So they'll be less susceptible to uh, running into each other so much. Or not actually shooting. Oh god, they're all like all over the place. Stop being weird. Setting assigned group one. So we'll get you. Roger, command. You guys will be group two. Setting assigned group two. And here we go. Be advised that is a friendly online. Be advised that is a friendly. Group two is taking friendly fire. Go go go! I believe you can win this time, tight end. Stand by group one. We're getting like super close and personal with them. Okay, who all is using their weapons? You're not using your kinetic weapons. Oh well. He will learn the hard way if he does not want to use his weapons. So many beams! I'm still got this guy back here who is extremely damaged from the first test results. Trying to help out. Stand by group two. The tight end is taking a decent amount of damage. This guy's being focused on. Do 
Now, in case of you guys are curious while I'm balancing out the Taidan and the Kushan as well, um, in the campaign, I am planning to implement them in ways to where you can actually use them, based off of the storyline, of course. So I need to make sure that they're balanced so they don't throw off the uh, the balance of the campaign. Stand by group two. Plus, they're already in the game, so we might as well play around with them. How is the Kushan's not really taking a whole lot of damage? Hmm. Stand by group one. The Titan's taking a crap ton of damage. So many beams flying around. Taking friendly fire. Your face is taking friendly fire. Uh, this one's getting close to being in the yellow. So this DPS is dropping. Is being concentrated on by a couple different destroyers. Stand by group two. We are doing a decent amount of damage to the Kushan fleet. Like, our damage is definitely spread apart between a lot of different units. Stand by group one. But the Kushan definitely looks like they're doing some um, concentrated tactics, especially against this guy right here. So many beams flying around. This guy's using none of his DPS. He's using one turret. Wow. That's amazing. That's one of the things I don't quite understand about Cataclysm. Right now in Homeworld 1, um, they definitely use all of their weapons, even if it hits their allies in the butt. But homeworld cataclysm? For some reason they don't, especially in large groups like this. Stand by group two. He's getting really close to dying because he's being con heavily concentrated on. This one's being pretty concentrated on too. And the Kushin really haven't taken a whole lot of damage because a lot of the Titan aren't using their beams. This one here is using both his beams. Warning. Group is taking friendly fire. I still like the fact that this guy is not even being targeted. It's amazing. One Titan Destroyer is getting really close to dying. He's abandoning ship right now. We have another one here that's getting really close to dying too. Ship destroyed. Are they going to get more concentration on this guy? Probably. How many weapons are you using? One turret and one beam. Nope, he's using both his beams. Okay. Group one is taking friendly fire. Stand by group two. And we've done nothing to the Kushan destroyers. That's amazing. We have one Kushan destroyer down here that's getting close to 50%. That's about it. Where the Titan destroyers are definitely getting hurt. Hmm. All right, let's let this go a little bit longer. Warning: Group is taking friendly fire. Stand by group two. Some of the Kushan destroyers are starting to take some damage, but it's mostly just all over the place, honestly. Which that could be a cool thing. That means that their DPS, their overall DPS, is dropping. Instead of just concentrating on one unit. Stand by group two. But we have two Titan destroyers in the yellow. Let's continue speeding up a little bit. Warning. Group is taking friendly fire. Stand by. Because it looks like most of the firepower is just being thrown around all over the place. This might be a way for the Titan to actually turn the tide. 
If they can continue reducing their overall DPS by getting them closer and closer to the yellow. Uh, some of our tight end destroyers are definitely seeing some damage. Is taking friendly fire. Stand by group two. We got one in the yellow now. So we got that one all the way there, down there that's super damaged, is not even being attacked, which is I find pretty funny. Ready to go. Oh, he has been attacked. He did start off with seven percent. He's at three percent now. I think one of the uh, destroyers that um, I don't know that got destroyed was focusing on him, but now nothing's actually hitting him. Stand by group two. A lot of the Kushan destroyers are getting close to being in the yellow. Stand by group two. But we have a few tight end destroyers that are about to die. They're getting close. There we go, there we go. Now we got more and more in the yellow. That's nice. That's a DPS debuff. Group we got three destroyers that are about to die. This one's about to die. And we have a lot of our destroyers that are still looking pretty good. <laughs> Boy. He is about to die. Commandeered ship destroyed. Go. We got ten left ten tight and destroyers left. And he's about to die as well. Commandeered ship destroyed. Okay, where is the Kushan focusing on now? Looks like majority of it is focusing like over here. Is taking friendly fire. I was hoping both of the ions would launch at once. Oh, he's not even using both his ions. Never mind. Stand by group two. Um. Stand by group one. Oh boy. This one down here is getting close to dying. The rest of them still have a decent amount of health. A lot of the Kushan destroyers are taking some severe damage now. They're all getting close to flaming. That's more and more DPS that's being dropped by the by the Kushan destroyers. So even though we haven't actually killed the Kushan destroyers, we probably they probably lost a couple destroyers worth of DPS from all the damage they've been taking. Go Titan, I believe in you. Group one is taking friendly fire. Stand by group two. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Some of them are now in the red. Nice. So we got three of them severely damaged. We got a few of them in the red, a few of them on fire. Stand by group one. But again. Um, our tight end ships are just not really using all of their firepower. Ship He's dead. He's fire. dead. There's down to six. Can we kill at least one of these by the time this this uh, um, battle is over? It would be nice. I don't think that's actually going to happen. But it would be nice. Stand by group two. Warning. Group is taking there goes fire. another one. Ship destroyed. We have three um, tight end destroyers that are in the yellow. We have one that's barely been taking any damage. And we have another one that is pretty much fully a... Uh, um, that has taken some damage. Stand by group two. I don't think we're going to kill a single Kushan destroyer. Because now they're starting to get overwhelmed because we don't have enough numbers to absorb all the damage. There goes that one. 
Commandeered ship destroyed. Wow. They're not good. I don't think they're going to lose a single destroyer. Stand by group one. All because the tight end thought they could they could do superior stuff by just using one turret. This one's using two turrets, and that's it. He's not using his beams. <laughs> oh, Cataclysm, you're so weird. Okay, down to two. What are you using? Two turrets and a beam. Nope, you're using both your beams. Actually, you're using everything. You're only using everything but one turret. You might be able to kill that destroyer in time. It's gonna be iffy, because there's a lot of firepower flying around. And since there's only two targets, they're gonna be using majority of their weapons now, because there's only two targets to choose from. Which means a lot of firepower being thrown around. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, well, Destroyer, it was nice knowing you. It really was. You are going to be 100% tortured. Oh boy. <laughs> so much damage. So much damage! Launch your beams! The beams! Nope, not gonna charge the time. Wow. Didn't kill a single Kushan destroyer. But then again, a good chunk of those, uh, of the Titan weren't even using their weapons, so. <laughs> wow. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this testing series. So the the uh, actually I think the Kushan won the um, um, the single um, the single ship battle and won the group uh, ship battle. That's kind of how I'm going to do this series. It's going to be a little bit of like Homeworld Wars ship showcase and just testing things. It's like a a three like a three way hybrid series. <laughs> but this is how I. This is how I'm gonna do every every single ship I get balanced out and show it off for you guys so I can show the differences between everything. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I will check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Soban signing out. Hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive.